just doing a quick video here on um, a recent thing that I've been looking into called electrolysis for growing uh, plants and people are selling it for about two hundred dollars online but you can really do a DIY one at home with some simple things so what I've done here is I've taken a couple of vitamin bottles that one was smaller than the other and I've cut them into discs and then I've put screen inside of one and then inside the other so that they're separated and then you connect one wire to one screen and the other wire to another your anode and your cathode and then what I've been finding out through looking online is the most the hardest thing to come by is the power source because it has to be DC but people don't realize that it's a lot easier than you think the power converters for a laptop actually convert 100 to 240 volts AC into mine here is a 19 volt DC because it has to charge a battery so it's converting it into DC electricity so all I've done for the experimenting purposes is I will just take the anode and put it in the center of the power supply and then the cathode just gets wrapped around the outside as you see there it shows the negative and the positive the positive is on the inside the negative is on the outside that's why I've connected it this way and when you connect it let me just get it connected here real quick When you connect it, and you've got this in a bucket of water, right away you start to see the separation of the hydrogen and oxygen molecules. It's a super simple $5 way to make yourself what is known as an O2 diffuser. And let me just make sure to mention here for purposes of uh, safety that you have to have the anode and the cathode separated so that they don't uh, touch. So that's why I have two sets of discs, one smaller than the other, and neither of the screens are touching in any place. They're close. They need to be close to make this work, but they do not touch anywhere. Very important. All right, have fun making your guys' O2 diffusers. Bye.